Welcome to Comedy Cube. I am your host, Hope Flood. How y'all doing? All right, y'all can have a seat. Y'all can have a seat. All right, my edible has kicked in. I'm high as fuck now, and I'm 55, and I'm sleepy than a motherfucker, okay? Please put your hands together for my brother in comedy from D-Town, Detroit, Michigan. Howie Bear! What up, though? Oh, man, give it up, give it up. Whole flood. Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah, sit down, man. You, you, you guys look too good, too good. Welcome to the Howie Bell Show. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's smoke some weed. Why not? What are we doing with our lives? Why not? <laughs> y'all scared? Y'all wanna <laughs> <laughs> Who don't smoke weed? Make some noise if you don't smoke weed. All right, losers. Loser. Hey man, y'all so over-exaggerative. You ever go over to somebody's house and don't smoke weed? Man, you can't even roll up. You got to go outside with that. Go outside. You're like, I'm just rolling up. I know, but go outside, check. <laughs> You go outside and smoke, you come back, they look at you like you smoked a rock. Wait, that was weed. I just stopped smoking blunts, too. Yeah, yeah, I stopped, man, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you ain't gotta clap, but it ain't that serious. <laughs> I did, though. So I smoke like pipes and, and bongs now. You know, but, but around black people, that, that's a crack, that's crack. I don't know if y'all understand this, you know, maybe be like, you see a white guy smoking out of a pipe, you're like, he's a stoner. You see a black guy smoking out of a pipe, he's a crackhead. Crack. They can see you put the weed in there, that was crack, I know it was. It was a green crack rock. <laughs> Sharing with you guys my personal stuff early on. Welcome to the Howie Bell Show. No, stop. Don't do that anymore. If I say Howie Bell Show, don't do that no more. Don't, don't clap anymore. <laughs> That's just me telling you, hey. My wife had COVID. Yeah, 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 man. Took a long time for us to get back to kissing. <laughs> it's like, kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow this kiss to you, that's for sure. Eat the pussy? Shit! We need a uh, herd immunity for that. <laughs> we can't do that. How many shots? <sighs> Anybody wearing a mask? Got a couple people with masks on. Yeah, the blue mask make you look real sick. You ever seen the blue mask? Especially when they get dirty, they make you look like you just left a clinic in Haiti. <laughs> Got all kind of fingerprints on the front. <laughs> yeah, they be like, you know, with the little balls and fur. You ever see a blue mask getting messed up? It's like, man. They make you look like you got old diseases. You got polio and <laughs> SARS and all kind of shit. Now why do people pull the mask down and talk to you like, yeah, what's going on? Like, wait, hold up, man. Put that filter back up there. <laughs> I don't know if y'all going through that when I'm going through. And, and look, look, I've been a whole teacher. Uh, you know, I've been a janitor. I've been everything. I've been homeschooling. I don't know if y'all know this, a nutritionist. I've been doing everything. Anybody else homeschooling? Yeah, if you ain't been homeschooling, you don't know what it is. I couldn't wait to get out to third grade. <laughs> it's been the best summer of my life. I promise you, man, the kids don't even eat this much. I've just discovered that kids, you know, at school, they only eat one time. At home, they eat four or five times. 
I'm like, my daughter, hey, no, no, no. I've said no a thousand different ways. No, nearly nada. No, you cannot have another banana, no. You've ate three Lunchables before three o'clock. You've fucked up the whole shit for the week. No, <laughs> fucking kids. And I got a TikToker in between class. I don't know if y'all got a TikToker. Anybody got a TikToker? Watch this TikTok. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold up, clean up first. <laughs> the whole world see this filth. You're up here TikToking with jelly on the wall. What are you doing? <laughs> ah, kids. You want to know what your kid think about you? Have them draw a picture of you. Man, that'll, that'll, that'll mess you all the way up. Draw daddy, okay. <laughs> My daughter had me with fangs and shit. It's true shit, man. Blood coming out the side. I'm like, who the fuck is that? She like, that's you. <laughs> It was a little sad face on the side with tears coming out the side. <laughs> Who was that? That's me. <laughs> like, it's fucking storm clouds in my living room. It's raining and shit. <laughs> What's them sticks over there? Yo, blunts. Damn, I'm a fucked up parent. Yeah, this shit ain't going on the refrigerator. That's for damn sure. At all. Meanwhile, here's a picture of mommy with uh, with angel wings and a halo. <laughs> like the fuck is going on? Goddamn kids. I had my nieces and nephews come visit me one summer, man. You know what I'm saying? They record everything. I don't know if y'all know this about these kids. They record everything. They record me sleep. They're like, Uncle Howie, you snore. I'm like, get the fuck out of my room. They're like, no, you need to look at this. <laughs> they pull out the tablet, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, look at me. Why ain't nobody wake me up? They laughing. <laughs> I'm like, clearly I got sleep apnea. I'm fucked up. I stopped breathing. <laughs> like I'm sending you motherfuckers home early. That's for fucking sure. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Goddamn kids. What happened to the world, man? We all been on lockdown. Donald Trump gone. Donald Trump's still thinking the president, though. I don't know if y'all know that, though. They're not. <laughs> He's still thinking the president, don't he? He's like, yeah, the election was a fraud. I'm the fucking president still. Yeah, Biden is a robot. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on, Trump? This motherfucker got problems. You remember when Trump told everybody, go home, remember that? When he was like, if you don't like it here, go home. Remember that? Get the fuck out of the country. If you don't like it, get up, leave. Remember that shit? I was like, what if, what if what everybody was like, you know what, we, we leaving, we getting the fuck out of here. And we taking everything with us. Every fucking thing with it. Everybody ethnic taking everything with us. Black people, first of all, we starting with anything made out of peanuts. And anything peanut butter related is coming with us. <laughs> fuck out of here. Anything that was made with cotton is coming with us. <laughs> All this shit, the street lights. Let's see how you drive when we take these bitches. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. We taking all our shit, all our food, our greens, our macaroni and cheese, our dressing, and the big booties. They all coming with us, fellas. <laughs> Fuck out of here. We ain't leaving them nothing but stove top <laughs> stuffing and flat backs. And the Mexicans, y'all coming with us too. Fuck that. Come on. No more Taco Tuesdays around this motherfucker. <laughs> we ending this shit. Come on, man. The motherfuckers ain't going, where we gonna go? We might as well stay here, right? I know I'm from Detroit. Ain't nobody in Africa taking me back. <laughs> the motherfuckers like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Be a million Michael Blacksons. Get the fuck back with your TikTok. 
Forgotten of you. <laughs> Crazy ass world we in now, man. You know what I'm saying? What we gonna do, y'all? We back out. We breathing. Y'all here? Yeah. We lost a lot of people, though. You know that, right? Lost a lot of people, man. A lot of people went. You know, when you think about people now, you think about your own demise, don't you? You're like, shit, how old was he? You always ask questions. How old was he? He was my age. God damn. <laughs> You're like, how did he die? He was in his sleep. Shit, I'm sleepy right now. Fuck. <laughs> I'm about to die in my sleep. <laughs> the fuck? Damn, my mic touched this. My, my lip touched this mic. I mean, God. We ain't got no, no, nothing to sterilize of my lip, do we? <laughs> my grandmother was mean growing up, man. You know? She used to beat my cousin Quan more than us. I don't know if you, you know, get, know about getting your ass whipped. But I come from that generation, you know what I'm saying? My qu cousin Quan asked one too many times if we was gonna eat. <laughs> I'm hungry, man. Granny was cleaning that fish and scaling the fish, man. Smack the shit out of Quan. That wasn't the funny part. When her hand left, it was fish scales and cornmeal dots and shit. <laughs> and we trying not to laugh. We, <laughs> you know, Granny would whip your ass for laughing. We. <laughs> Man, I had a, I had an uncle, man, which was her brother, man. He was, he, you know, his name was Uncle Fat. He, he wasn't fat. He was just Uncle Fat. They called him Uncle. Fat. <laughs> he, he was gay, and he used to uh, he was the minister of music at our church, <laughs> and uh, he used to kiss us on the lips as kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sharing some personal shit with y'all right now. I'm coming out right now. <laughs> It wasn't like all the way on the list. It'd be like halfway. You know what I mean? It'd be like wet as wet as hell. Though. You're like, <laughs> once you felt that wet kiss, you're like, <laughs> but he didn't like my brother Gregory. You know what I'm saying? So he kissed everybody. He like, hey Howie, hey Keisha, hey Tony. Get to Gregory. Hey Gregory. <laughs> he wouldn't kiss him. I was like, wow, you spared him? Spare us. <laughs> yeah, man, I had a crazy childhood. I'm from Detroit. Clap it up, anybody? Detroit. Yeah. It's the Howie Bell Show. Detroit, stop. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all look good, too. Matter of fact, you know, when I came up here, I noticed everything up here. I'm like, wow, I don't want to move too much. I might knock over one of these drinks or something. Yeah, them shits look <laughs> fuck out of here with that bullshit. Ah, but yes, man, anyway, you know what I'm saying? I want to kick over one of the new church plants. You know, church always got the fake plants. Any church goers? Anybody? Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, black church especially. You know, they be in there, be them deacons in the front. You know what I'm saying? Before anybody ever get there singing a song that lasts long as hell. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. I love the Lord. He He like, I ain't never coming back this early. That's for damn sure. I might as well cook chicken in this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, old black songs didn't even need words. <laughs> That's what's wrong with R&B no more. People don't sing without words no more. <laughs> you know, uh, that's a hit right there. You know why? He didn't use no words. He didn't say nothing. 
You can sing a song for a whole hour without changing no lyrics. Y'all don't remember them days. They'll sing one lyric verse. That's it. Let's get it together. Get it together. Let's get it together. Get it together. Come on, get it together. Get it together. You better get it together. We all get it together. Get it together. People in the background, get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Come on again. Hi, hi. They ain't need no hand claps. No, no, none of that. No hand claps. They just do acapella. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. We gon' get it together. Get it together. You leave the concert like I'm getting my life together. Shit. <laughs> and take you to the bridge. Take him to the bridge. Boom, 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 boom. Get it together. <laughs> you like I love life. Get it together. Yeah, thank you. One person. No, man. Nah. Stop. When y'all clap, you make it. You stop. When you clap, you make it worse. <laughs> when you clap, you don't make it right. I'm one of the BET Comic View comedians. Y'all remember BET Comic View? Remember that? Yeah, none of us made it. <laughs> I gotta get it together. Get my shit together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, this is fucking awesome, man. Y'all motherfuckers is incredible for the Howie Bell show. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wipe the sweat off a little bit. My lips getting a little old chap. People never tell you when your lips dry, they just look at you. <laughs> they put on Carmex and everything. Mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> Someone help you with your shit. <sighs> Man, I guess I gotta get out of here and get back to the family and shit. And all that. Yeah, appreciate it. Hard being a parent. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, my kids, man, they motherfucker, bro. I got fat kids, too. Anybody with fat children? <laughs> Y'all laughed. Anybody with fat children? <laughs> yeah, yeah one, one person. 70% of America's youth overweight. We're the only ones with fat-ass children. <laughs> they smart, too. My son used to ask for everything intelligent. Father, I was wondering. <laughs> at this particular juncture of the evening, uh, might you see it fit <laughs> that a young lad such as myself might be able to partake in a snicker bar, perhaps? Yeah, take two, you fat fucker. You working on junior diabetes. <laughs> That's when he was little. He grown now. He asked for money smart now. Father, I was wondering if you could deposit some type of financial contribution into my banking institution, if you will. You fat fucker. $50 cash out. Put it down when I'm through. Fuck out of here. I love y'all, man. This has been fucking incredible. I could talk to y'all all night. I'm Howie Bell, man. I can incredible. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate it.
This has been a Funny Media Group production.